Good morning from the Riviera. Today we are headed into a Disney park and as promised, I wanted to show you what I bring with me into the parks when we go. I hope it's not too loud out here. I am out as you can see on the balcony. I am directly looking at Spaceship Earth. I will give you a shot of that right here. Right behind me is Disney Springs. I just love this resort. If you haven't watched our one bedroom villa Riviera resort room tour, I think it's worth the watch if you've ever considered staying here. Now, depending on what I am wearing in the parks, and you know me, you've seen the packing videos, you know I love a matching park aesthetic moment, especially when Callie and I can do it together. So my bag will vary between a backpack or my favorite crossbody and my growing collection of fanny packs. The fanny packs are definitely the smallest and I don't necessarily pack light for a day in the parks. We do have a stroller that Callie's in, so I have underneath space as well and Mark wears a backpack, but I do bring what I need. I'm not just like a grab my phone and go type of person. This is one of my very favorite bags. It is a Danielle Nicole. I get comments on this bag every single time I wear it in the park and it is large. She holds a lot in here. There's an interior pocket and then there's this big pocket out in the front that I can pop my phone in. I also love this Mrs. Potts detail. So this is one of my go-to crossbodies. But I think my all-time favorite Disney park bag is my Kate Spade Minnie Mouse. Mark bought me this little bubble bar here for Valentine's Day. I also have a little Louis Vuitton one. Hang on, I'll go grab her for you. I bought this for myself after the Christmas that Mark bought me the Kate Spade bag. So bag charms are kind of one of my new favorite accessories, especially bougie ones. I've gotten comments on this from women who know Bobble Bar, like I love Bobble Bar. Just makes me think we should be friends. My camera, when I close it up on the tripod, actually does fit in the crossbody, but it does not fit in the Kate Spade. So I've been tucking that into the stroller. Let's, let's go. What are you here for? Let's go. So this is my little interior pouch. Callie, Callie and Mark bought me this for my birthday from the France Pavilion in Epcot. She has a little sparkly bow. And this is kind of where I keep all of my loose things and I can just change this out between bags in the mornings without needing a ton of time to get ready. So in this little pouch, I keep all of my cash. Now, you don't necessarily need cash on hand in Disney. However, I have found that carrying ones has been particularly helpful because my daughter loves a pressed penny collection moment. So we've been using all the ones to collect pressed pennies and then once we do get them, I'm also gonna do a reel on pressed pennies, so stay tuned on Instagram. I pop them in this pouch so that they're safe for the rest of the day. So this time around, I did bring our vaccination cards because when we arrived here in Disney, it was the first time that if you've been vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask indoors, outdoors, anywhere. So I didn't know if Disney was going to ask to see them, so I did bring them with me. And when you're traveling, I would recommend bringing them regardless. And then we have Disney gift cards and a Starbucks gift card. So any type of material that I think I'm going to need shopping, I'm gonna bring with me. I also have an extra room key, an extra magic band, also how pretty is this? This has been the one I've been going to for this particular trip. And I also pack an extra magic band for Callie. Sorry, we're doing this live in case you didn't know, I'm actually packing my bag for the day, so thanks for being here. If you didn't see the Amazon must-haves for Disney, you're missing out. This, my friends, this right here truly has been a rescue. I'm wearing a dress today. Sometimes I wear shorts underneath and sometimes it doesn't matter how hot I get. This is not a deodorant. It is a anti-chafing stick. 
they call it an anti-friction stick. Doesn't smell like anything. I have the mini size so I can keep it in my bag. Thanks, mega babe. I also bring two mini perfumes with me. Unnecessary, but I don't want to ever smell. So travel size, these tiny travel size ones are awesome, but I also have these skinny ones. They're both from Sephora. This is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf, and this is Way's Melrose Place. Both are very fresh smelling. That's kind of what I like in a scent. A must have. You will need a stain stick. You'd think this would be for my child. I did end up using this on Callie because she spilled a pouch, you know, those little squeezy pouches, all over herself in the process of trying to open it independently right before we were going to meet Ray at Hollywood Studios in her Ray dress. So I did use this, but mostly this is for Mark. And that's basically what goes in this particular little pouch. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, you will pass. We're not done. I bring gum. I very rarely use it, but I do just keep it stashed in here. It's mostly for the plane, and this bag I do bring on the plane as well. And then I have some pandemic kid-friendly necessities. One of them we got for free when we picked up Callie's glasses at Walmart. This is a mini lens care kit. Essentially, this has like a wipe and spray for her glasses. I do not bring her glasses case into the parks. If you have a child or you yourself wear glasses, when you go through security, the glasses cases are going to be every single time. You have to take them out of your bag, hold them at an awkward arm's length in front of you, and then walk through the machines. So just so you're aware, I made the mistake once and got checked all day long. So I don't bring her case with me. I do bring this. And then if she needs a glasses break, I kind of tuck them in a soft part of my bag. Cleansing wipes for hands, faces, tables, and you know it, hand sanitizer. I also ordered these really cute Disney print disposable masks because while we're vaccinated and don't need masks in the parks or restaurants, you do still need them by federal law on all of Disney and public transportation. So this includes the Skyliner, buses, boats, the monorail, etc. So I do still have a pack of these and I'm just working my way through. This is also going to be true depending on if your child takes the bus or not. So I love these, they're really cute. They fit both of our faces, so it's kind of like a twofer. And they came in a bunch of cute colors. We don't travel without lip gloss. So I have two different Fenty lip glosses. Fussy is still my favorite, look at this room. This is what it's supposed to look like, this pretty shiny packaging. And then I have my favorite lip treatment, which is the Lip Butter Balm by Summer Fridays. The packaging is a bit rough because I do use it morning, noon, and night. And then lastly, before I pop my phone in, I always have a pair of sunnies with me. And I typically have a pair of extra with Callie's sunglasses as well. And then my phone. So this little guy has actually been really helpful. I talked about this on my Amazon, what you need for Disney. But I have been using this loop it sticks out, it doubles as like a kickstand. I have Callie's annual pass, my license, my debit card in here. I honestly thought that I would be taking this backing off once we got home, but I'm just not sure I'm going to. And in my backpack, I pop this in the back pouch so I don't have to unzip every single time I need it. Pro mama tip, pack band-aids. I did give a mom like five or six little princess band-aids for her son who had fallen in Epcot and gotten a pretty nasty cut on his elbow. So instead of needing to stop by the first aid stations because individual park booths, guest experiences aren't gonna have them, so pack them. There you have it. The what's in my Disney bag, what I take to the parks every day. We're very excited to get going today. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you'll consider subscribing. I love you. Stay tuned for future Disney content. Bye everybody.